Hi everyone, welcome back to MCM Outdoors and thanks very much for clicking on this video which is going to be a review of a sleeping bag and in this case it's one made by Nordisk, superb Scandinavian outdoor gear manufacturer. They make high quality outdoor equipment and clothing and uh, their products are really high quality and they're built to last, they do a great job. This sleeping bag is for serious cold weather camping it's definitely not for summer use, uh, given the temperature ratings, which we're going to go through in some detail shortly, um, later on in the video. It's a, it's, a, it's a sleeping bag for people who go camping in the fourth season in winter. Camps up in the snow in the Lake District in Scotland, in the UK. This bag should get you through it all. It's top quality. I've been using it for a while now, a number of months. I've used it in some different camps, including a hammock camp. Um, sort of varied temperatures, including a cold camp in some cold weather couple of weeks ago on the summit of Pendle Hill. So I think I'm in a good position to tell you about it. I've experienced it enough to go through some of the features and how it performs. And yeah, hopefully explain that in some detail. So first things first, we're gonna get the bag out of the bag it comes in. Now this isn't the stuff sack. Lots of you might be thinking it looks quite big there. This is the bag for sort of long-term storage. You shouldn't keep your sleeping bags in a compressed state for extended periods of time. So when I'm going to be storing it, maybe for a couple of weeks when I know I won't be using it, I use this particular bag. What I'm going to do is a uh, typical MCM review, go in some detail throughout the video. So I'll get the bag out. We're going to look at it a couple of close-ups, tell you about some of the particular features of this bag, talk about the materials, the temperature rating. I will show the sort of stuff sack, so compression bag, which you get with it. Of course, you could also use a third party compression sack to get it even smaller. And this fits when it's compressed down quite happily in my 45, 40 litre Osprey packs. I've actually got one over there, so I'll demonstrate that to you shortly. But first things first, let's get it out of here. Let's look at it a bit closer detail and talk you through some of the features. So this is the bag for long-term storage of your sleeping bag. Even the quality of this is absolutely superb. And you just get the impression that you've got yourself a quality bit of kit. It tells you everything you need to know. It's a mummy shaped bag. It's got a synthetic filling. It's not down. And this is the Oscar minus 10. In terms of temperatures, as you can see there, it has a comfort rating of minus six degrees Celsius a limit of minus 10 and an extreme rating of minus 30. I'm six foot tall and I've got the size large, which is 205 centimeters length. At the shoulder, i.e. the widest part of the bag, it's 73 centimeters wide. And at the foot box end, it's 55 centimeters wide. There's the weight, 1,360 grams, 1 1.3 kilos. To me, that is lightweight enough for me and it's absolutely fine. Turn it round and we've just got a couple of draw cords. We've got an outer one and we've even got an inner one just to keep it nice and safe there and compact in this bag for longer term storage. So we'll get it out and we'll look at it laid out flat. So let's have a quick overview of the bag from the foot box all the way up to the top. First things first, it's got a shark fin foot box. You'll see that bit of a profile where it increases in height towards where your toes would be. That's known as a shark's fin. That also has a zip down there, which I'll show you shortly. You will notice that the baffles on this sleeping bag run down the length of the bag, these tubular baffles. Now what that means is that the air can flow along these and it eliminates cold spots. It allows that when it warms up with your body heat, that air to flow along the length of the bag. We've got a zip for additional ventilation down in the center there. We will look at all these in detail, don't worry. And then we get towards the winter hood, which is described as a 3D winter hood. We've got a two-way zip on this side, on the left side of the bag. It operates two ways. So you can open it up for a bit of venting if you so wish. The zippers use great quality hardware, the YKK. They've got Nordisk branding on and the attention to detail is absolutely superb, as is the overall finish and stitching on this bag. We've got some nice detailing, letting us know what particular model we've got here. 
obviously minus 10 for the bag that we're looking at. We've got a nice press stud, stud which seals it all in there. On the right side of the bag we have another zipper which goes just a short way down and it's for your shoulder. You can release that section of the sleeping bag. You can put an arm out of there for doing things out of camp. So, you know, it just makes things that little bit handier when you're waking up for that first brew of the morning in your tent. If we just open the bag up slightly, again, a little bit more detailing, just tells you the specs of your particular bag on that sewn in label there. And if we open it up, we can see we've got an internal pocket. That's great for storing things like your mobile telephone, obviously your body heat, will preserve the LiPo battery in your phone, stops it depleting throughout the night in the cold air temperatures when you're doing winter camping. The soft touch inner is really luxurious. It's a really luxurious soft touch feel. And like I say, the, the stitching, the attention to detail is absolutely superb. So that's another good little feature. We've got a thermal collar at the top, which just uses Velcro to fasten. Obviously your neck and your head is going to be up there. That just provides an extra seal just to keep the warmth in there. And on the right hand side, just for belt and braces, we've got an elastic toggle just to tighten that up and cinch that up just to stop any of that precious warm air from escaping out the top of the bag. We've got this nice luxurious hood, which is fully immersive. 3D hood goes all the way around on the top of the bag. So it's like having a lovely down jacket on and just in this superb, insanely warm bag from Nordisk. Now in the center of the sleeping bag, just on the front here is another zipper. It's very discreet, blink and you'll miss it. You'll just see the zipper pull here. Again, YKK zippers used throughout everything. is superb quality. That just opens up the front of the bag and that will allow some heat to escape just to aid ventilation if you need it. So this is the foot box. It's what's known as a shark's fin foot box. You can see the profile. It rises out there like a fin. It's obviously where your feet are going to be when you're sleeping or you're trying to get warm around camp. Now it also has a zip here. We'll just do this. If you want a little bit of extra ventilation, you want to get that opened up trying to do this around the camera there we go so that completely opens the foot box of the sleeping bag just to allow a bit of extra airflow you might be sat in your chair around camp and enjoying your brew you want to shuffle into your chair or you just want your feet to wear out you know open the door of your tent if you've got nice dry weather now when we actually look inside here as well there's like a bit of a shelf which tucks under itself that again is just a bit of extra protection from any breezes which might be coming in this end. I mean, that is not the last line of defense. There's sort of a whole box sewn into here. There it is. Your feet go in that, tucks under itself as an extra layer of insulation. And then you will zip that up when you're going to sleep for the night. So I'm just trying to demonstrate some of the quality. I'll get as zoomed in as I can, but on this bag, there isn't a stitch out of place. I mean, that is what you would expect from a premium product such as this, but it doesn't always translate into that in real life. It does with Nordisk. And just to be completely clear, I was sent this bag. I was not told what to say. I don't have an agenda. I just give an honest review of it, but you know, the detailing, I know it's only details, small details, but if they get the small details right, in my view, the end product, um, is likely to be great but just the attention to detail the stitching on the zips ykk zippers the lovely ventilation zipper along the front center of the bag which you just cannot see and this hood i'm going to get in in a minute just so you can see that but yeah it's just exudes quality we've got a bit of nordisk logo just embossed into the fabric on the inside the toggle at the neck end and then just the small details toward the top of the zipper on the left hand side. Now in terms of the weight 
I know that's subjective. Some people will say it's heavy. Some people will say it's light. The weights I carry up mountains, it's absolutely lightweight for me. And, you know, winter camping, you kind of not taking a shed load of beer up with you like we normally do on some camps. So, you know, you're probably saving weight in other areas as well. But just the way it's put together, just the feel of the material, it's so comfortable when you're in here. It's so nice, soft touch, and just very, very warm indeed. And this inside pocket is great, like I say, just for your electronic items, just to stop the lithium polymer batteries depleting, just in that cold air. This collar does make a difference, just with the Velcro fastening there, and just seals the heating around your neck area. And the fact you've got another shoulder zipper on the right hand side, just gives you a bit more movement. Some people feel a little bit claustrophobic in mummy bags, but you can open that up if you want your shoulders to come out. It's entirely up to you, whilst the rest of your body stay, stays warm and protected by the remainder of the bag. Or otherwise, if you're just up, you want to sit up, stay in your bag, you want your arms free for making a brew, just undo that, feed your arm through there. And like I say, the two-way zippers, so you can bring it up from that way and just have both arms free performing a few tasks around camp and you could sit in your chair and enjoy your brew shuffle into that by opening the foot box and just sitting and relaxing being fully protected by the bag with your feet free right it's time to get in so i'm six foot tall that's 182 centimeters and this bag is a large there's ample room for me i'll just get in get it zipped up and just demonstrate the hood for you so there's plenty of room it's not claustrophobic but i don't think it is some people are not a fan of the old mummy bags i think it's absolutely fine it's hard to do this live on camera without a handy assistant but there you go I'm pretty much zipped up there all that's left to do is get my arms in and pull that hood up and just get cocoons you can imagine the snow blizzard blasting outside your tent. I'll try and keep this scene quick because it's nice and warm in this room. I've got all my clothes on obviously and inside this bag. I've got to be careful before I spontaneously combust. But let's get in. Get this hood pulled up. And that is it. Let's get it. The remainder zipped up. Last bit of zip. And there you go. I'm like a uh, Houdini be able to get out of this but nice and secure it's so soft and you're just eliminating the surface area of your skin exposed to the cold so it's all about stopping heat loss by convection and radiation so this nice lots of room I've got the shoulder box on my right if I want to you know just get a bit more movement from my shoulders I can open the foot box I can shuffle out I can unzip it from the second zip, lower down in my feet, so I've got the use of my arms if I want. Get it unzipped. And that, let's get my mic back on. That is getting very hot indeed. Um, like I say, it's a proper cold weather bag. Temperature rating speaks for itself. So I'm just going to compress it now and show you exactly what I mean about how small you can get it and show you it fitting in one of my packs that I take out on winter wild camps. So just to demonstrate, case in point with the foot box, you can do the, the foot box shuffle while sipped up there, you've got your feet free. You know, you could be sat with your feet out of your vestibule, enjoying a coffee, protected from the cold, while still zipped up, but with your feet free, you can zip it all the way to the top take your, your right arm out of that shoulder zip and still have some good movement, but you're still nicely zipped up in the bag. And get up, move around, do what you need to do. So that's a, it's a great little feature, well thought out. And I will be using this myself, hopefully, when we get some snow and ice to come. Sitting out with a brew, taking it all in, but still nice and warm. When you're done, simply drop it down and step out. So 
So let's talk about pack size. When you purchase this bag, you also get this nice, generous dry bag by Nordisk with a loop on one end, which is always handy for pulling it out your rucksack and the usual fold over with clasp on the other. Pack size, you can get this to 25 to 36 centimeters. That is what's the spec on the official Nordisk site. What I'm gonna do now is put the sleeping bag in here. I'll compress it down like I was going on a camp and I've got a 48 litre Osprey Kestrel rucksack. I will demonstrate what I do when I'm taking this particular sleeping bag on a camp. So there's no graceful way of doing this. It's just a case of using brute force. Sit on it, kneel on it, do what you need to do to get as much air out and to get the bag compacted as much as possible. I'll have a go and I'll speed this up. There you go. That'll warm you up before you set off back home on your camp. We've got that nicely compressed. I could probably do a bit more than that and I could also buy a dedicated compression pouch with the straps and you could probably get it a little bit smaller than that but I'm going to go and get my rucksack I'm going to show you exactly how I store it when I'm off on a camp just so you know I'm not cheating it's an Osprey Kestrel 48 by my standards nice and small I just turn it upside down the divider in the base of the rucksack I let that fall flat so I'm using it as one single volume make sure I've got my handle facing up take all the compression straps as loose as they'll go and that's it it's come up just above the Kestrel lettering. Invariably I'll have my tent on the outside of my pack, but I've still got the majority of the volume in there free for the rest of my equipment. Um, I wish I could show you, I wish I could roll it down, but there you go. Just above the writing, we've got the whole of the pack to use as we see fit. When you get out to camp, because you've done it the right way, with the loop up, just take hold of the base, and there we go. Like I say, if you buy a compression sack, you can get that even smaller, get every last bit of air out of it. But I think that's pretty good for such a bag, with such a high temperature rating, which uses synthetic top quality materials. Um, the bag absolutely exudes luxury. It is superb. It's a premium bit of gear. I'm going to put all the specs below. I'm going to leave you with a bit of a music and overlay some specs uh, over the video. But thank you very much Nordis for letting me test this out. I really appreciate it. I'll also leave links to the videos in which I use it so you can see for yourself. If you're interested in the bag, um, I don't think Nordis themselves sell it directly, but there's a number of different retailers out there. So I'll put some links if I can. But if you're in the market for a premium winter, top quality sleeping bag and you're going to be doing some extreme four season camping up in the snow right on the fells get yourself a good sleeping bag you don't want to have a horrible uncomfortable night you don't want to spend you know a lot of money on something for it to fail this is top quality scandinavian gear and it's going to keep you warm in the worst the british weather can throw at you thank you very much for watching enjoy the outro and if you've got any questions leave them in the comments and i'll answer as best i can Take care and thank you for watching.